hands down, this app is one of the best ways to level up Shortcuts app because it allows you to extend the automation portion of Shortcuts as well as triggers. You can be more granular with them. This app can be as simplistic as you want or as complex as you want. I highly recommend you start with simplicity and build up from there. Let's take a look at the app I'm referring to. All right, so you can see right here, the app I'm referring to is called Push Cuts. Now, the cool thing about this is I'm currently running iOS 18 beta, hasn't been released yet. And this app was updated one week ago. And I'm telling you, it works really good. So you can see is automation. So for shortcuts, HomeKit, and other integrations, it takes it a step further. I'm going to show you that. Over here, you can see it has smart widgets. Honestly, I don't use that part of the app. So, I mean, a widget editor. It's cool to have. It's a nice to have, but I don't use it. Smart Home, I'm going to set up a scene and show you how that works. Then you can fine-tune your triggers. I'll show you how to create a trigger if you like. And then you, I'm going to walk you through the simple editor as well, as well as the server side of it. So, let's dig in. Okay, so first things first, once it's done installing, I'm going to just click on Open. Once I open, this is how it looks. So a quick run through is down here we have our notifications. Right here we have our triggers. Our triggers are really simple and easy to understand. We can click on the plus button and we can set it to a notification that we have. And then from there, so if I wanted to do a notification of my first notification, I could come here. I could say daily, I can set a time. And then from there, I could just click done and it'll trigger that notification to pop up and I can do something with it. This part right here, your triggers are really, really, really simple to do, but I'm going to actually delete this trigger because I don't want it. So I'm just gonna pull it to the side and hit delete. Next we have widgets. Now with the widgets, like I said, I really don't use this, but I'm pretty sure like this is really simple to set up. There's nothing magical about it at all. Nothing complicated. Down here, we have our servers. If you have another device, this part would be really cool because you can set that as your server and all it will do is sit down and look for push cuts. And as they come up, it'll automatically activate those push cuts for you, which is kind of cool. Now, under my account, I do have the subscription pro. I, have, I don't have the extended server. I could get it, but honestly, I don't use a server feature like that. So I haven't unlocked that part yet. Now, if we come back over here, First things first, the first example I want to give you of using push cuts is how, like if you have some lights or something like that, how you can use push cuts to activate those lights. Now, in order to do this, like I have a light strip going around this room. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how I can leverage push cuts to be able to activate the lights in here. So first things first is I have to go over to HomeKit to set up a scene to be able to do that. So let's head over to HomeKit. All right, so here we are at HomeKit. First things first, I'm just going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to say Add Scene. I'm going to come down to Custom. And I'm just going to say, I'm well, I usually have one called Writing, Writing Mode. So I'm going to use that one since I don't have it anymore because I deleted it so I could do this video. So I'm going to say Add Accessory. I'm going to say Office Smart Light Strip. I'm going to say Done. I'm going to click on here and now I can change it to how I like it to be. So I like when I'm writing, I like it to be maybe around, let's say 30%. I like it to be orange because if you haven't noticed, orange is one of my favorite colors. And at that point we can close out and now I have that done. I'm going to say done. Now that I have that here, which is writing mode, I can leave out of here and go back over to push cuts. So now what I want to do is I want to say plus and we can leave all of this as is for now. And well, actually for here, we can change this to say, we can say writing mode and I can say your lights are on. Then I can say done. Now what I want to do is, and up here where it says my notification, I can just say writing mode just so I can know when I'm looking at it what it is, if I can spell. And now I can say add action. And when I add this action, as you can see, it gives me a few options. The first option it gives me is I can activate a shortcut. I can use a URL. I can use a server or I can do home kit. 
in this instance we're going to do home kit and what i'm going to click over to is you can see right here it says writing mode then i'm going to say done now where it says default action i like to add that as well so that way even if i'm running an automation it's going to automatically trigger it because the default action is writing mode now what i want to do is i want to click add once i click add you can now see if I scroll down, the trigger button is now activated and I now have access to be able to set up the trigger. Now, this is where location constraint come in at. I could turn this on and have it only come on or have that notification only pop up when I'm within a radius of my home office or I can have it pop up only when I'm in a radius of a certain Bluetooth button or something like that. So it's not accidentally triggering. You can get super, super duper complex with this, but I don't want to do that in this video. I want to keep it simple, but I do want to show you what's possible. All right, so we're going to say done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test this trigger. So I'm going to say test notification and I'm going to click test and switch it over to me. So as you can see, I'm going to power off my lights. So now my lights are off. As you can see, we basically sitting in the dark and now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say test notification. And when you look in the room, my lights should come on. And as you can see, my lights came on. Now you probably really can't see them that bright because they so low. But if we go over to home kit, first, we're going to throw this back into video mode. So don't nobody interrupt it. But if we come over to home kit, we can see that indeed my lights are on and as we can see right here they're on now if i wanted to i can turn them off and now they're back off so let me turn this light back on so you can see me better so that's pretty much how it works that's one of the ways you can use it another way if we come back over here and we say okay let's say save this and just say done How's it going? Will here. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up so I'll know you like content just like this one. Let's jump back into push cuts. If we come back in, say plus, and we can say add action. And over here where it says shortcut, we can actually run our shortcuts from here. So we can click right here to update the shortcuts in our list. And then when we come back, you can see that it's updated because those demo shortcuts I've since gotten rid of. So for example, if we wanted to do one with the server, I'm gonna show you how to do one with the server. So we're gonna say B96, this is my playlist. All right, so put in work. I'm gonna say work mode, and I'm gonna have this run as a shortcut. And I'm going to say done. All right, so I don't know, for whatever reason, my video stopped recording, so I'm definitely not going to run it. But if we press test and let me just take it off uh, video mode. Now, if we press test, we get that notification. If I click this, if I put in work mode, it's going to automatically start playing the music and all that other stuff for my B96. Why do it keep stopping there? OK, it looks like we're still recording. But basically, if I click on test notification, you're going to see where it pops up. I can click work mode. It's going to jump me over to B90 to my music store and it's going to run that shortcut. So as you can see, it's here. Now you can see that shortcut is starting to run. So I'm going to pause it right there, but you can see that it works. That's how we can activate a shortcut from here. Now what I want to do is I want to show you one last thing inside of here. So this is just the music. So I'm going to say work mode and I can also have this set up and we can have this based on a default location as well, especially if we're using the server side. So I'm going to say save, I'm going to say done. And then down here with the server side, it's really, really easy to do. You can see it says not running. If I click start on this device, it'll automatically turn this phone into a server. I don't want to click it because I don't want to stop this recording again, but that's how it works. And any other device under the same iCloud will automatically pick up this server. And whether you set up a notification on this server or on another one, all of them will pop up and run from the phone that's actually running the server. So if you have two phones and you have the server on this one and you want your B96 playlist to start playing, when you hit that push notification, 
is going to start playing on this server unless you switch it over to local and then you activate it on that one device that you have all right that one tripped me up a few times when i was brushing up on push cuts to do this video now now that we know what this is and what we can do with it and how cool it is we can actually have our local triggers if we want to so you can set up a notification and you don't have to set up the trigger inside of here so if i wanted to have let's let's do this really quickly if i come back over to notifications let's just say i want this to be morning routine all right so you can see this is going to be morning kickstart and we can you can see i'm going to be running a morning routine so if i come down to add action the action is going to be shortcuts i can come over here i can say morning routine which is right here then if i wanted to i could actually say done and we know that's morning routine so maybe i should do a better job at calling them what it is so morning and then i could say add another action and this could be night and i can come over here and i could say looking for my nighttime action so i see morning i don't know what i called it was it wind down hmm. did i call it routine let's see here routine pub play morning routine night well i don't know what the nighttime one is called but we could just use i guess any other one so for example i guess one that i could show you is a 100 day push-up challenge so let's just call this push-ups let's say i wanted to run this one as well so now when i say done i can say add and now these two actions will pop up we can have as many actions as we want and we can have a default action as well so my default action could be the push-ups so 100 days of push-ups I can say done and now I'm going to okay so I don't have it on just double checking I can say test shortcut when I click on it it automatically runs that push-up challenge showing that I have 77 days left in the 100 day push-up challenge so you can really run some shortcuts over here push cuts now the cool thing about push cuts is I'm gonna put this back in video mode so we're inside of shortcuts i'm going to click on the plus sign and i'm going to come down to shortcuts actually i'm sorry i'm gonna come down to push cuts and we can see push cuts right here push cuts as you can see is extremely powerful now again i'm running ios 18 beta so if your shortcuts don't look like this it's is honestly the same thing it's just a different look and feel but if you look right here you can see we have some we have some useful ones over here like we can execute on servers if we're using that we can export a shortcut we can find devices one that I really like that I find myself using quite often is this one right here run home kit scene this one right here I really like because it makes it so easy to trigger your home kit scenes and another one that I really like is the one that tells me if I have my server running or not let's see where is it add a new server schedule is kind of cool yes yeah, it's right here enable slash disable no that's not it update widgets no execute server action is what it's called and you can see right here council server action change server action so you can do a lot in here and a run home kit scene is really simple you can just click right here it's going to automatically pop up whatever you have only have one which is writing mode if you want to see more pop up over here you would just go back into home kit like we did earlier create another scene and you'll have them all popping up now this is by far one of the i want to say lightest overviews of push cuts because as you can see push cuts can get very very complicated very very quickly especially when you get into playing with the server side of it but if you just want to get started and you want to level up your automation game and you want more triggers and things like that and you don't have to rely on the clock like for me before push-ups came along a lot of my triggers or a lot of my automation triggers was a hundred percent dependent upon me setting an alarm and then i would say okay this alarm triggers this specific automation inside of shortcuts well now i don't have to do that because push cuts allow me to create as many notifications as i want 
and using the server side of push cuts, I'm able to automatically trigger them. Now, again, some triggers you just don't want to use the server for because it's not the best way to do it, especially when it comes to like your playlists and things like that. It's going to be working like it was doing for me, but it's going to be playing on the device where the server is actually running because all triggers happen on that specific device. So if you want something specifically to happen on your device, then you want to make sure that you make it local based and not background based. All right. With that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up so I know you're digging these types of videos. Till next time. Later. How's it going, Will here? And on this channel, honestly, I don't know. I used to have a cool spiel that I do, but I'm Will. And on this channel, I talk about cool tech is what I do, I think. Nah, that's not what I do.